and once you have tasted flight, you'll forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you'll always long to return. The words of Leonardo da Vinci, and hence my 22 years of paragliding. I've come here this evening to talk about the passion I have for paragliding in high places. Not the everyday exhilarating flight from your local hill, or the beautiful calmness of ridge soaring along the coastal cliffs and dunes. When I talk about high altitude paragliding, I'm talking about launching off mountains above 4,000 meters high. There is one word that comes to mind, commitment. We're not talking about marriage commitment here, although this could also lead to the same inevitable conclusion if things go pear-shaped. <laughs> In my humble opinion, high altitude flying is less risky. We're talking about commitment to the climb, and your teammates, everyone has to have the same objective in mind. We all here to climb a mountain in good style, fly off it, and do it in a relatively calculated degree of safety. Secondly, there is a commitment to the takeoff and belief in oneself. You have to be totally focused and confident when launching. And it is this confidence and belief that makes or breaks a launch. And finally, commitment to the weather. The previous two you can control to a point. The third one, the weather, can and will at some points of the expedition put a spanner in the works. Time, patience, and planning are the key. With this in mind, when acclimatizing on the mountain, I also follow the weather daily. Together with knowledge gleaned from the locals and internet forecasts, we then choose a day for a summit attempt. And as I've learned over the years, the more you plan and prepare, the luckier you get. Actually, the weather has been good on all of my summit days. Not a breath of air, even with storm clouds building in distant valleys, unheard of at these sort of altitudes. No wind for that matter, or too much wind at altitude, calls for big commitment. Both have different dangers, but the same result if all goes pear-shaped. You'll either get blown over the back and will have to deal with the inevitable turbulence that follows, or you'll end up stalling your glider due to the lack of airspeed on the edge of a 3,000 meter drop. But in both cases, you'll have to deal with the malfunctioning wing. There comes a point of no return when launching, and that word commitment comes home to roost. And it is at this moment of transition, when your heart is in your mouth and your brain in overdrive, that one moves from the conscious to the instinctual, that those three seconds of nothing but free thought are clear and seem to pass as if in slow motion to etch themselves in one's mind for eternity. And just as suddenly, there is an awareness of the lines coming taut, the pressure on your controls, and the wing biting into the thin air as she leaves you behind, diving forward, wanting to fly, that you know it's in the bag. You have to take her lead and let her fly. Reining her in would cause her to falter and stall. As for all things at altitude, there is a fine line between failure and success. And believe me, at this point, with 3,000 meters of rock and ice below you, you instinctively take the next best but uncomfortable option and let her dive in her need to fly till the horizon is blotted out by ripstop nylon, logos, and dental floss lines. the fine line between success and failure. The idea of risk, complete commitment, is an absolute revolution of perception, essential to having a ride like no other. In layman's terms, it's a mind. I'm currently on a journey with four like-minded individuals, where we are attempting to climb and paraglide off the top of the highest summits on the seven continents. If successful, it'll be a world first. The dangers are real, and the price of hesitation carries the ultimate consequence. Please join us on an adventure of a lifetime as we travel from mountain to mountain, sharing our moments, mistakes, epiphanies, and emotions, which will be brought to you daily in the form of video clips, blogs, and images, beamed to our website at Seven Summits, Seven Flights. Thank you.